Welcome to episode 2 of Night Fight. Today we bring back our three previous competitors all vying for another shot at a chance to climb that Night Fight ladder. Our competitors showed us a pretty good fight last time and hopefully they'll bring that energy back in here today and show us a good fight this time as well. Our fighters will not be using the same weapons as they did in the previous episodes as they have come in with seemingly completely new loadouts so already the fights will be more different than the last episode. I am your host and one of our panel of judges, the Blundermaker. I am exotic weapons expert, Darth Fitz. And I'm the other guy. He's the other guy. Let's uh, reintroduce uh, our combatants for today's episode. <laughs> First we have Liam returning again. He seems to have shed his shield and uh, is doing dual sabers today. Whew. Yeah, I'm excited to be back for uh, episode two. Uh, I'm mixing up a little bit today. Uh, instead of using my usual sword and shield, I've uh, opted to uh, drop my shield in favor of uh, a second weapon. So I'll be using this uh, saber as well as my trusty arming sword. Uh, don't have a whole lot of experience dual wielding weapons, but you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Ah, Liam the Oracle once again. Last time he made it all the way to the final duel, so hopefully he will maybe take the victory today. Second competitor. Wrong game. Very formidable loadout looks mm -hmm. like with mm -hmm. his shield and the infamous Naganita. Today I'm bringing in my Naganita and shield. Got a good uh, range going on with this one. <laughs> now that today is the second episode, I know what these guys are about a little bit more. Uh, and have some fighting experience with them. This time, hopefully, I'll make it on to the second round. Yeah, that was disappointment. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Pole arm, which is, can actually be very well wielded with one hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very... It's a lot lighter and faster than, say, uh, the spear, the glaive that we saw at the end of uh, the previous episode. Yeah, it's tired out our last mm -hmm, competitors mm -hmm. in the final duel very quickly. Mm -hmm. But seeing a pole arm in these uh, initial three-person skirmishes is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's going to be able to keep his opponents at bay, huh? Hoping as well to see a lot more of Jason, mm -hmm, just in general. It's your reflection looking back to pull you down. So are you going to die today? Finally, we have Owen. Last episode's winner, the pilot episode. He seems to have just given up on his armor and shield entirely, especially after last episode's mm -hmm. shenanigans. Feeling pretty good. Last time I, I won the whole thing, and it, it felt good. Even though I won, the biggest hindrances to my victory was the destruction of my armor and my shield. So, I've opted to use a two-handed elven longsword and only have my mask here for protection. And I think that'll be enough to get me through to at least in the final duel. I'm gonna go for the win again. But he is keeping, but he is getting face protection, which he seems to have indeed learned indeed. a little bit from Liam's uh, getting hit in the face mm, last time. Mm -hmm. yes. Indeed, indeed. And he seems to be rocking just a simple elven longsword, so I'm... Already, this is a completely different loadouts, and I'm hoping completely different fights mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. last time. Certainly, certainly. Certainly lead up to an interesting fight. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, let's get into that first heat, shall we? All right, so the same rules apply as last time. There are just going to be three one minute and 30 second heats. We are going to be judging completely based on aggression, technique, adaptability, defense, so on and so forth. But this time, we have a little special treat at, after uh, Heat 3 mm, that mm -hmm, we will reveal mm -hmm. when the time comes. All right. That being said, let's begin our first heat. back and forth between both of the other combatants here. Oh, oh we also forgot to notice we do have multiple perspectives. We have a multiple angle set up this time. The aggression is already high mm -hmm. and it's much higher with Jason. I'm very proud of that. The defense as well for Owen with his longsword seems to be doing well against the dual sabers. Indeed, indeed. We see Liam here trying to uh, make the best of his dual sword loadout, but he uh, doesn't seem to be quite uh, quite as comfortable as he might want to be. You know, we, we've seen a lot of imprecision, a lot of ooh, ooh, flailing nice motions. Fantastic performance from Owen there. Beautiful combo. And Jason Ooh. just shoved his shield into Liam's face there. It has cost him his cap, so it would seem. An excellent no you technique. Mm -hmm, mm Jason, Jason capitalizes. Jason just getting those jabs in when he can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jason's taking the Jason opportunity. Wants, he, awesome. he can use that range to his advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. Liam's going for a <laughs> devastating. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Jason takes a fierce blow to the face from uh, Owen there. Especially after that berserker state you just mm -hmm. went in. <laughs> that Yeesh. closes out our first heat. Overall, very impressed by uh, today's shows of aggression and technique from, you know, all three fighters. All three of yes. them, especially after the last episode. Mm -hmm. did definitely, really definitely really seeing well. a lot of growth. Really get to see all these fighters' adaptability as well with their new weapons. I would say right away, Jason showed a lot of great technique mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's, I think he learned from his last episode from, instead of taking more time on opportunity, he showed a lot more aggression and was able to get more precise hits in. Mm -hmm. Although he was still noticeably going with his um, opportunistic play style. Mm -hmm, Although, mm -hmm. with definitely more aggression in there. Yes, which yeah. definitely helps him out. It's a much better lot. balance overall than we saw a previous episode. Owen was playing very well with just his single sword. Mm -hmm, a lot of mm -hmm. de great defense and attack. Just like Liam with his arming sword in the last episode, you could see a lot of practice has been going mm -hmm, into that mm -hmm, weapon, absolutely. clearly. Mm -hmm. Knew exactly what he was trying to do and was able to accomplish it very well. And that was just the first heat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what these yeah, other two are. Let's let's go forward into the second. Seeming to 
hang back a bit at the start there, trying right. not to overcommit like he was uh, a bit more there. We saw some of that opportunistic striking from Jason there. There's a little bit of grouping going on on Liam. Liam definitely needs to work on his, you know, battlefield awareness here. We see him getting this kind of tunnel vision where he'll focus Ooh. on a single opponent. Nice, a nice slice mm -hmm. with up from mm -hmm. Owen. Jason keeping his distance while he can, so really using that pole arm that he has. It's interesting to see here, I think you can sort of notice Liam getting progressively more comfortable with the dual sword loadout as uh, the fights seem to go on, sort of learning on the fly. Yeah, but that inexperience is mm -hmm. kind of showing, mm -hmm. though, at the same time. Absolutely. Looks like it slid off his back. Another shot to the face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jason's taking quite a beating this time. Mm -hmm. Still fighting. <laughs> you've got to you've got to wonder if uh, the the results from last episode have any bearing on, you know, where the, where the aggression is getting directed. Keep fighting. And that's time. And that's time. Yeah, there, there was a little distraction going on. I couldn't really, mm -hmm. I can't hear. I couldn't make out what was going on out there on the field. Yeah, but... we, we don't have any audio uh, oh. going on. Yeah. Hey, camera crew, what's going on out there? Why don't I hear laughing in the background? My face, I can stand. <laughs> balls? What? Skewered balls? I, I don't know what's going on out there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that was a uh, good. It was a good round of combat. Of mm -hmm. something happened at the end there, but <laughs> we'll, we'll give them a, a couple minutes to sort it out. Whatever it is before we continue. We'll but, probably uh, check that out behind the scenes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was um. Who knows what was, what was going on? But. Hey, our fighters can do as they please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All they're really meant to do is fight, as we judge from our wealthy commerce mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, uh, do we uh, want to cut to commercial here at all? Do we have another commercial? Do we have it in the budget? I, I don't know. <laughs> who's who's no, sponsoring it's, this episode? It's for the budget. <laughs> It's for the budget. Do we yeah, have a sponsor shit, secured? Yeah. They're, they're supposed to be paying us, right? Uh, right? right? You're not paying them, are you? <laughs> Yeah, episode two. It wasn't just a one-time thing. We're just hanging out. Who are you? I... We are now going to cut to commercial. We will be right back. Fighting with your friends can be dangerous. That's why we chose Hollow Earth Swordworks. All weapons here on Night Fight are safe and guaranteed, never to break in full contact training or sparring. Every piece is handcrafted with beautiful, local, and exotic woods. For more information, visit their Etsy page at www.etsy.com slash shop slash hollow earth swords. Again, that is www.etsy.com slash shop slash hollow earth swords. Order today and become your own warrior. And now, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I've got a wardrobe malfunction. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's get back to fighting. 
we go now into heat three, the final heat of the first stage of today's uh, night fight tournament. Still doing a great Whoa. job of jab. Look at that. bouncing back and forth between opponents here. Fantastic battlefield awareness. Nice thrust. Oh, a little, yeah, little spin. Spins. I think the choice of no armor was more for mobility purposes. But... Oh! Oh, oh God, Liam's armor just came Liam's down. breastplate is down. It just the came straps right. seem to have come completely loose from the front of the piece. Oh, God. Let's see how he copes. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh God. another oh, shield bash shield to the face. face. <laughs> Stabbed in the back, not doing well having lost his armor. And he seems to have disengaged now. And oh, he's is, disengaged uh, entirely, yeah. Seems to be fixing something with, oh, his, God. with his face. Jason, oh, God! Jason's shield down. Oh! There's a lot going on right now. Holy crap. We've seen all kinds Jeez. of action. We see Jason's lost his shield and has switched to a two-handed uh, stance full. with the Nagamita. He's going full aggression now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Liam is on Owen's ass. Jason's taking in his pincer strats. Liam tries to run down oh, Jason. Owen seizes the weapon entirely. Liam, Liam seems to capitalize <laughs> on the bind. Ooh, Ooh it catches a him long enough. back Owen, spin. Owen throws him, out, throws Jason out. And <laughs> oh, he said no to that shield. Something was tried there. Wow! And that's time. Wow. Ooh. A lot went on there. A lot happened there. Alright, so... In a short time. Alright, gentlemen, I think it's time to decide who moves on to the second mm -hmm. round. Mm -hmm. Or to the final round. Mm -hmm. So, the person... So, at least to me, the person that stand out to most was Owen. Mostly mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there is a... He, ha he was essentially a cocktail of everything that we were looking for. Absolutely. He had great aggression. He, he had beautiful technique. Mm -hmm. Beautiful adaptability. Fantastic awareness. Fantastic mm -hmm. awareness. Great Spinning. defense. Spinning. That's a neat trick. He adapted Always everything. Always a bad there was, there was a lot going on and he took the most of it. Mm -hmm. He did mm -hmm. everything he could. He wow. That was insane compared to the first episode. These guys kicked it up to a whole new level, and man, that that was a rush. This time, everyone else's armor broke. Oh! So, at least there's something for me. I think I did all right, especially in defense. My technique, I think, could have been better. I'm really hoping I can move on to the eliminate, pass the elimination round. Now, yeah. Liam did show some uh, good aggression and technique with his double um, swords, with mm -hmm. his dual wielding technique. Really good saving off attacks and had a lot less range than the other two. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. Both because of his smaller weapons and his smaller stature. He was also, oh, especially at the end there, he was seemed to be running out of gas mm -hmm. there. 
he's never had a problem with aggression, but you know, to a fault from that, you see him overcommitting a lot to to a lot of these strikes, and it leaves him vulnerable to being capitalized on very aggressively by uh, the other combatants. Yeah, that was that was definitely something. Um, you know, not really accustomed to these to this dual wielding tech, but you know. Um, I, I think I did pretty all right there before the novice with, with this style of combat. Uh, I definitely uh, had my work cut out for me. Lost my uh, breastplate in that final heat. That wasn't great. And, you know, I definitely felt like I was taking maybe a little more punishment than I would like. But, you know, I, uh, I got some good hits in. I did some decent, you know, parries on Owen. I got some pretty solid, solid hits, I think, on Jason despite, you know, uh, his rather formidable loadout. So, um, you know, I, I, I went out there and I gave it my best, and at the end of the day, that's all you can really hope to do. Jason, compared, especially compared to episode one, mm -hmm. wow, he has, right. he stepped up. We've seen a lot of improvement there. He's, he fought like a bastard. He got a lot of precise hits hits, and he was way more opportunistic, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and it was actually precise. A lot of just jabs through people's defenses. Mm -hmm. yeah, Very precise strikes, you know, and targeting he, those weak points. Especially great adaptability, his shield came mm -hmm. off and he went straight to full aggression mm -hmm. mode. Mm -hmm. he did not waste any time changing the use. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Man, those rounds were tense. A lot of, uh, a lot more aggressive, I could say, definitely. Hitting this, it's difficult when they get in close, you know? Got hit in the face. Got hit in the face again. Almost got my balls skewered. Got a few good jabs in myself. Uh, particularly good at like evading that didn't do that armor. Just got to see what the judges think about my points. See if I go on or not. I think with that, I think we do know who will be moving on to the mm -hmm. final duel. We'll call them in. Yes. Let's call them in. Gentlemen, last time you were here, you got... We told you guys that you were one hell of warriors, you fought valiantly, and just like last time, one of you will be moving on to the final duel. All of you have greatly improved since episode one. You've all shown fantastic aggression, fantastic technique, great defense, and adaptability. But only one of you can move on to the final duel. And that person is... Owen. Owen. You had a beautiful balance throughout all categories that we were checking off. You were the perfect all-around fighter that we can't wait to see for future episodes, and especially in the final tour. Now, for the two of you remaining, we've uh, switched up the formula a little bit. You two will be competing one-on-one -on -one to determine who will go into the finals. We will be judging you based off this final tiebreaker round, as well as your techniques from the previous three rounds. You will be given an opportunity to change your equipment and loadouts, uh, as well as conduct any potential repairs you may wish to conduct before heading into this uh, final elimination round, before uh, determining who enters the final duel. So gentlemen, into your blacksmiths, get to work. And good luck. Alright, so we are back. The combatants are ready to go they have it seems like uh they've, they've gone back to the old sword and board mm -hmm. from both of them we're, we're going to see a, a little mirror match here uh outside of the final duel there's uh no excuse for a difference in equipment mm -hmm. here they're mm -hmm. both equal to each other pure technique Pure technique. Although Liam has repaired his chest plate, so there is mm -hmm. there is that bit of an armor advantage. But other than that, indeed, let's see how this goes, guys. All right.
we see Ooh. that trademark Liam aggression here. Oh, he's really going in hard on Jason here. I'm not trying to you. I think he realizes the stakes that are at hand. Mm hmm Jason is playing full defense right now, mm -hmm. making sure he does not get hit by it's We clearly... see Liam working these, these uh, lower uh, strikes here, working the legs very, very consistently. Goes along with his shorter stature. Though, Jason's evasion. doing a great job to defend. Looks like Liam might be losing some steam here. He is slowing down. He's showing mm -hmm. signs of fatigue. Still keep it up. Oh. oh, oh, and Jason applying pressure. Letting... Really putting that shield forward to oh, try and create yeah. some space. Oh, pushing. Now he's oh, unrelenting. Pushing. Whoa! Oh, right back up with the shield. That strap came off, and Jason popped it right Ooh. back in. That's, that's time. time. Wow. wow. That's quite something. Liam had us in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But I'm, in, I'm impressed with Jason's st um, strat there. He just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let Liam wear himself out and then press the advantage when he was tired. Very good resource management. Mm -hmm. Man, that, Liam, that man Liam is a menace. Uh, during that first half, just full aggression from his part. So, had to go full defense. But that moment I did form a strat, just had to block him, wait him out, and then eventually he did tire out, and during that second half I was able to push my aggression. I feel I did well. If the judges count that aggression from Liam though, I'm pretty scared in that part. So I just gotta wait to find out. If it was completely based on this heat alone, it would be a really tough call. Mm -hmm. Liam dominated the first half, showing pure aggression mm -hmm. and did all he could. Yeah, so you know, it was a pretty straightforward uh, duel there for the elimination round. We both decided to go, uh, you know, sword and board, uh, which obviously is, you know, my preferred style. At first I was, you know, heading into it, I was worried about my, my stamina and my aggression going forward, um, but you know, uh, the, the, the buzz we started basically for that elimination round and I just, you know, uh, I. I, I tapped into something I didn't know I had as far as, you know, performance, technique, aggression, something about the, the stakes just sort of set me off and I just went all out. So, you know, uh, hopefully that will be enough. And then right when he started losing steam, Jason did not give him an inch. Capitalized entirely. Absolutely. And then took advantage of mm -hmm. it. And even with his shield, oh, and he almost lost his shield, mm -hmm. which but probably kept it up. Probably would have cost him the game right there, but mm -hmm. he got it right back in and was able to keep up his attacks. Incredible reaction time with that just mm -hmm. immediately yeah, snapped it back into place mm -hmm. there. That was that was pure instinct and survivability kicking in. Especially combined with you know taking the cumulative performances across the first three heats, uh, I think we have a pretty clear decision here as far as who moves forward. All right, let's call him in. Yep. Liam and Jason, the last time you guys stood, you two of you have stood in front of us, Liam had moved on straight into the final duel. This time, we made you guys fight for it. 
And now, after much deliberation, I think we finally come to a decision. Jason. We'll advance into the final duel to face off against Owen. Congratulations. Jason, you showed great um, technique throughout all of your battles. You really made sure to keep your distance and strike when it was important to you. Your aggression was a little less than the other opponents, but definitely a marked improvement. Liam, your performance in this elimination round is quite possibly your best in the tournament so far. However, despite some early aggression and really putting the pressure on Jason, you lost steam in the second half, and that enabled him to capitalize very heavily against you. Combined with a similar pattern across your performance in the first three heats, you unfortunately will not be advancing on today's episode. I am the Oracle, you are a warrior, you are a fighter, and we can't wait to see you next episode. Be advancing on to the final duel against Owen. And your weapons will be nice. nice. So, get a head over to the armory. Owen will be waiting. And get ready for the fight. sent the fighters off, off to the armory and they are about to be picking from our vast loot of wooden knives. Fight in the final duel. Each knife is its own uniqueness, has its own pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Each fighter will have to choose wisely and weigh those pros and cons. The loser, loser picks first. The loser of the well, the winner of the elimination mm -hmm. round mm -hmm. will be picking first. Jason's chosen uh, this uh, dagger here with a prominent cross guard. The big daddy himself. Mm -hmm. uh, the cross guard will. It's a big advantage because none of the other daggers have it. So, a knife fight, huh? It's uh, not too much experience with that myself. Um, but my, my knife does have this crossbow guard, which could be a huge damage. Guess I can just hope. <laughs> and Owen chooses the counter with. the large Haladi. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Haladi uh, requires a lot of tech, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, so I wonder how much he will actually be using that tech. I think I'm, I think I'm ready for this. I've been training with knives a lot with Liam, so already I think I got the experience edge here. I'm gonna kick his ass and take that second win. Let's see how they do in the uh, first heat of the final duel. Mm -hmm. Owen really 
testing Jason's defenses here, They're trying to find an opening. Hear these back and forth here. You can feel the tension. Ooh, we've got some twists ooh, and turns ooh. there with the uh, the Haladi. Lance seems, seems more on the aggressive here. Pushing Jason back a little bit by little. That is a fast wrist turn as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> ooh, doing some the flourishes. Spin tricks. I've always thought spinning was a neat trick. Was it for pure fighting, or was it intimidation? Mm -hmm. Style. They both seem to be just Some fancy there. footwork there for a moment. Looking for an opening. is just going off and off on Jason's knife. Owen's oh, definitely maintaining a lot of aggression, but as far as strong hits, it seems, you know, mostly a, a, a balance here. Yeah, no real hits at oh, 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 we got a grapple. Oh, Owen oh, going in for Oh, he got a butt shot there. <laughs> Got some vicious uh, shots in on Jason there during the grapple, but Jason managed to uh, disengage. Ooh, oh, set momentum. Tries to pay him back there. Neutral game here. Whoa, ooh. Whoa. Oh, 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 Owen said nope. <laughs> Palm strike there to uh, sort of open oh, Jason up, but ooh, Jason got in. They're dancing around this battlefield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something. Fighters seem pretty even. <laughs> that was a pretty close battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't feel there's a clear uh, clear edge between either of them there. We mm -hmm. saw a lot of great hits there. Uh, great, great tech, great footwork. Very mm -hmm. strong defense from both combatants. Uh, very strong defense, very str mm -hmm. strong aggression. Yep. This can easily go This either could go way. either way. Either way. I think we'll ha it'll come down to the second heat here to uh, determine who comes out on top. It this, all comes down to this one. This is going to be intense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Utility there with the alternating blades of the whole body. Ooh. Ooh. Jason tried to push Frost. in, but Owen okay. pushed him back. see Jason sort of bouncing side to side here, trying to throw Owen off, mix up his movements. Jason here not not taking the bait, really trying to, to hope Owen will lead in and make a mistake he can capitalize on. Owen is pivoting on one leg. 
making sure he stays in. Oh, ooh. ooh. Wood off the assault there. Jason really using the cross guard there to try to catch the opponent's weapon. Seem to be testing each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're very cautious, even though it's the last heat. Mm -hmm. So it's just waiting for that opening. It, it could change. It's the thing with dagger fights. It, everything could change in just a moment. Seems uh, they've now switched roles a little bit. D Jason seems to be more on the attacking side. Mm -hmm. See a good score that looked like there ooh, on ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Fury's back and forth ooh, here. Ooh. Shoot. Ooh, ooh. Some good ooh. parries from Jason there, but he takes a blow to the arm. Oh, ooh, some wildly swipe. swiping. Owen's back on the aggression side. Ooh. Ooh. He tried to seize Jason's hand, Jason blocked, and seized him away. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, he got Jason's hand there, it looked like. That was something. That's extremely close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we we can only choose one victory for today's episode. Uh, on the one hand, you know you've got great tech on both sides. Uh, I liked a lot of the the footwork there on both combatants. I liked a lot of the uh, parrying that we see from Jason there, really making the uh, most out of that cross guard and. We see a lot of strong parrying motions with the blade even, trying to, uh, you know, keep his defense up against that uh, Haladi from Owen. As you said, great footwork, mm -hmm. great tech. I would, if I had to say it, uh, Jason edged out on defense, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Owen edged out on aggression. Indeed, and you know, you see it pay off, and Owen got like a good couple, uh, a couple of really good hits in there, especially in the, the first heat that, you know, uh, doing the grapple, he got a lot of those quick jabs in at the the gut, but you know. Yeah, uh, that was the big standout moment. Mm -hmm. but, um, other than that, most of them were back and forth hits. Uh, the hits and just retaliatory hits, uh, mm -hmm. pretty evened out on that side of things. There's two ways a knife fight can go. There is the famous thousands, uh, thousand small cuts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they fight so much that they attack the arm over and over again until eventually bled out. And then there's the the one crucial moment where you find that opening, that vital opening, and you get that s stab in and it can end the fight. Mm -hmm. We saw a mixture of that today. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. In my opinion, I believe it comes down to who landed more hits. Mm -hmm. more, the more just precise, the most vital, destructive hits. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Um, a lot less grappling than I actually expected. Jason held, held his own out there. I wasn't sure of my own performance. We're just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to leave it purely in fate and the judge. Is that was tough. Never thought knife quest, knife fighting is just that so close and personal. You can uh, keep your opponent at bay with a long weapon. First round, we got. A few good exchanges in with each other, although in the second round, it's just like completely testing each other out. Some moves try to be made. Just hope the judges consider what all I've done out there today and see all my strengths. Yes, I think we've reached our conclusion. I think we have. Let's call it a bends.
combatants. That final duel was a sight to behold. You both fought beautifully with great footwork, great tech, aggression, defense, everything we look for here on Night Fight. But at the end of the day, only one of you can be our champion tonight. After much deliberation, we finally reached a decision. And tonight's Night Fight champion is... Owen. Owen. Congratulations. It was so close. You were even on all grounds. Just, you edged out an aggression just barely. You lost. But your opponent edged down defense. Uh, he edged out in a number of hits, whereas you edged out in the most vital hits. And the moment that pretty much uh, sealed the deal was the first Flash Fury grapple. So take that to heart as you won tonight, but it could have very, very easily been in your opponent's hands. great promise with your fighting. You um, very even, as said before. It was um, a very tough call on all of our parts. And I hope you um, don't take this loss to heart and that you fight hard next time. Gentlemen, you may return to your battle rooms and we hope to see you again on our next episode. Happy for Owen. It's done well. Um, it was close, very close. I'll do more training, I'll be back. Just wanted to let you know that. Number two, baby! Ah. I'm not done yet. Next episode, I got a surprise for these guys. And they're gonna shit their pants. See you next time on Night, Night Fight. Fight.